You are going to listen to five people talking about making friends. Speaker one. When we moved house last year, I had to go to a different school. It was hard to make new friends, so I joined a local youth club. It's like a social club where young people can hang around together. The thing is, all the children seem to have their own friends already. I felt lonely and disappointed because it seemed so hard to break into a group of friends. But one day, one of the other kids said something really funny. I glanced at the boy next to me, and we just started laughing. After that, we hung around together all the time. It may sound silly, but the best way to get someone's attention is by making eye contact. It tells the other person that you might be interested in starting a conversation. You might not always become friends, but you never know. Speaker two. People are always telling us how important it is to have lots of friends. There are loads of websites with articles and videos showing you how to be the centre of attention. You have to be the most popular person at school, or have a million friends on your social networking site. Personally, I'd rather have just a few close friends. You know, people who have something in common with me. I don't want to spend my time talking about things that are dull and boring. I don't think you can do that sitting at a computer looking for people online. If you want to meet people who you'll really get on with, you have to go out in the real world and find them. Speaker three. I've always been quite a sociable person, and I enjoy making new friends. We need to try to get on with everyone, and the only way to do that is by talking to different people. It's true that you may find yourself talking to people who have completely different interests to you, but you don't have to be best friends. If you want to meet new people, you need to find places where other young people hang around. I don't mean school because you probably know everyone there already. I'd suggest going to a sports event or concert because there'll always be lots of other teenagers there. Speaker four. A few months ago, I was on the bus and I noticed this girl drawing cartoon characters in a notebook. She saw me looking at her pictures and we started talking. It turned out that she was really enthusiastic about manga comics, and she was making her own designs. We stayed in touch, and recently she's been teaching me how to draw. Apart from making a new friend, I've also got a new hobby, so meeting her has definitely had a positive impact on me. My advice to everyone is that it's worth talking to new people, even if you're in an unusual situation. Speaker five. I've always found it difficult to make new friends, because I can never think of anything interesting to say. I worry so much about what other people will think of me that I just stay silent. My teacher noticed that I was spending a lot of time alone, so I explained what the problem was. She thought I should try to focus more on the other person and not worry so much about myself. She suggested asking people about their weekends or what plans they've got for the holidays. It's really made a difference to me because a lot of people are happy to talk about themselves. I don't feel so embarrassed, and I've started to become more sociable. I'd strongly recommend this for anyone like me.